Midnight Club 3. This racing game still lingers in our minds even after many decades since its release. It had amazing gameplay that left us at the edge of our seats with its high speed action and intensity through the cities of San Diego, Atlanta and Detroit and it went hard on the car culture introducing so many rides both older and newer models, splitting them up into four different classes. Now as you played this game you would be given access to many of these exciting rides to push onwards but I wanted to test out a dumb idea I had. What if I ignored all of these fancy high performance cars and bikes and go a simpler route. Use only the cars from the D class and nothing else. I want to see how difficult this game can get if I only stick with the cars from the lowest class and try to fight with the higher end opponents. The first place this idea will take us to is the garage to choose our starter car. We do have a few to pick from but in terms of stats the best pick will be the SRT4. With that we are thrown into the prologue race which goes by very quickly. In order to progress onwards you have to find the rivals around the cities and defeat them. Early on though it's more of a casual drive because the AI is on similar performance as you so Vanessa is taken care of. This unlocks the city tournament. These are optional and not mandatory but they can store some decent prize cars like this IS300 that belongs in D class. The game throws you into an autocross race where you have to beat a certain time set by your opponents. Do it three times and you have secured yourself a new ride. Now I know this isn't necessary but I wanted to have some fun with the visuals for a little bit. Now we can hit the streets and the Lexus wastes no time in dominating the streets of San Diego and beating Bishop as well. Right after this the Balboa Park tournament opens up and a 300C is available for the taking. First event was looking like a comfortable lead but I lost control for a slight bit and smashed right into a wall dropping me down to 4. I, I just already pictured in my head messing up that corner for some reason. Oh well. Shit first race, strong second race. What about Hilbert though? How did Hilbert do in this event? Hilbert is in fourth place. He only got two points, so that means we're level, I think. Okay, Hilbert second place. We beat Hilbert and Justin. Two and four points more. Hell yeah. We're rolling in cash now and a 300C a dub edition. I want to see how better it is. At the moment, stat wise. Ooh, shit. Very fucking low. 13, 8, 3. The SRT4 had better stats than this thing. Actually, let me, let me compare these two cars. Just, just out of curiosity. Yeah, so this is the 300C, fully upgraded. 28, 51, 56. SRT4, on the other hand. <laughs> they do share the same acceleration, but it has more top speed. Damn. That is not worth it at all. I don't think we can uh, buy that yet. Oh, wait, we can actually. Yeah, this thing right here is what I need to buy. How much money do we do we get from this? 48 grand! I can already buy the fucking Cadillac! Eh, yeah, sorry, sorry, dub edition enjoyers. I thought you would unlock it later in the game, but damn. It's very, very early right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the thing for the rest of the run, I want to say, that I'm going to use. It's legit, I could not find any other car that had better stats than this thing. This is probably the best we can use in D-Class. I didn't have enough money to fully upgrade the Cadillac at the moment, so I continued with the Lexus for a bit. Next up was Phil and his motorcycle and a bunch of SUVs in the mix. Our first set of C-Class opponents. For the most part, it was okay. A few close calls here and there. However, the opponents did start to get a bit more aggressive. Freaking bastards! Maybe there's still a chance, come on. He really slowed down all of a sudden. Jeez. That's what I'm talking about. It's already getting a little bit more intense with the C-Class cars. Final race here would be on wet conditions. Bosnian Minister of Defense, come on. Ah, so close. Fuck. Getting beaten by Rachel. She got tired of dominating in uh, Bayview. She's now in San Diego. <laughs> on some attempts, I would quite literally get destroyed by the AI. That, that was a murder right there. Straight up fucking murder. <laughs> A bit more trial and error and I finally win, defeating Phil in the process. This also gives me a nice looking motorcycle, but it isn't in D-Class sadly. So the only thing I can do is sell it, which also does help. I could spend the remaining cash on the Cadillac and so I did. Introducing the Caramel Cadillac. The first stop is the Luxury Rollers Car Club. For those that don't know, in this game you have three abilities you can use with specific cars. The tuners have the zone ability which works like the speed breaker for most wanted. Roar clears out the traffic in front of you and can be used in muscle cars or the choppers. And the last one, Aggro, lets you go on a rampage against other cars without losing any health or speed. And the Cadillac can use that ability. You just have to do three events and the ability is unlocked. Now sometimes in these races the cops will spawn in and um, they were certainly out for blood. Yoink! Let's go. 
Nice flip. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking this Cadillac back to the precinct. <laughs> oh, it's ours now. It's gonna be a new cop car. <laughs> Next level po police brutality. Stop flipping the damn racers, dude! <laughs> The dude didn't even do anything wrong. I mean, of course, illegal street racing and all that, but like, <laughs> he's already down, officer. Just, just handcuff them. After winning the third race, the aggro ability is unlocked now. Next up, we have Carlos Sainz, who, after losing his drive with Ferrari, found himself battling in the streets of San Diego. Not the place he would like to be at, but life is life, and we make the most out of it. While in F1, he is known as the smooth operator. Here, he is anything but that. Up next is a tournament for a 57 Bel Air. I thought I might need a bit more cash for upgrades, so might as well try it out. And it was surprisingly very easy. A full clean sweep giving us this beauty. Vanessa reappears for another run, now in a more tuned out Eclipse. In the first event, the Cadillac had a big lead no one could catch up to. The second race was a shorter sprint with some slight skill issues. Oh, I should have gone to the left, rip. Oh! Yoink! <laughs> Level 2 performance parts for Class D vehicles have been shipped. That's like the last set of upgrades, I believe. I don't think we can uh, get anything else. At that point, that's the fastest we'll ever get. <laughs> Gotta hope and pray for less skill issues going forwards. Whoop up. It's always 50-50 with the Nitro. Please fuck up, brother, please. Yes! Sir! Have I told you, fellas, how much I love the trains in San Diego? But not the traffic. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> the game quite literally said psych. Skill issues. Ah, oh, yes, I cannot predict a random traffic car appearing. Totally the skill of issues, my friends. Third time's the charm, and victory is ours. And that is it for San Diego for now. Next place is Atlanta. Before going there, I upgraded the Cadillac to the max. The only upgrade left is the level 3 tires later in the game. I wanted to see how good the car is now, so I tried out the dub tournament where you can win and escalate. Now it would mainly be C-class opponents that I would face off against, but the Cadillac was a proper fighter. It felt really fast, grippy as well, taking some dubs along the way and winning this tournament. Next rival would be Dr. Dre in a luxurious SUV with the other rivals and choppers. The bikers suddenly had fun with these races. None of them managed to stay close, so there goes another rival. But now we have a very important upgrade to put on our car. These rims are so ugly, it's gonna distract the opponents, and bam! Swoop in for the overtake. Or it's just gonna hypnotize them, like look at this. You stare enough into it, it just hypnotizes you or whatever. Next up, we have a rival that we will see quite a bit in this run, Roy. It was here that I learned how good the aggro ability is. <laughs> see, we can actually make this into a burnout game now. <laughs> Dude, that actually works so well. He blocked the other drivers. Rage ability is so freaking based. Level 3 performance tires for Class D vehicles. I still find it weird. It's only tires, like nothing else. Like, are, are they the fucking softest compound possible? The grippiest tires you can get or something? The only problem that I would be faced with is rainy races. The grip levels are very low, so most of the time it was hard to keep up with the opponents. I went back to the garage to equip the new tires to see if it changed anything. It didn't help too much, but oddly enough, traffic and walls did. This seems like one of those tracks where the AI just has the godlike run. Even if you try your best, they just are one with the road. Oh! Posh jam? Come on! Ah, so close. How far was I off? Couple, couple tenths. Rip. A few more retries and I finally win here and the remaining races as well. The one of them had an interesting bug happen. Oh, what the fuck? What? Ah, what was that? <laughs> it almost got destroyed as well. We beat Roy at least, so uh, very nice. <laughs> Next opponent is rocking an EVO 9. The race was going good for the most part, but then... While I was struggling with my own skill issues, I learned a very useful move called the Ballistic Cadillac. Ah! This is also where the B-Class cars start showing up with the Corvette being the first one at the moment. Few more events and Cheng is defeated. Vito is next, rocking a sports bike with some Lotuses to keep him and me company. Some of them having unique ways of slowing me down. The Lotuses came to play today. We have a good idea now. Ballistic missile time, fellas! Come on! 
Yes! Uh, ballistic missile for the win. Beautiful stuff right there. Class B vehicles have been shipped to the garage. Yes! More vehicles I can't use. Oh, that's so great. So great, fellas. You right there. You get a Camaro. You get the El Diablo. The Ram. Bam. Everybody except, except me. <laughs> This is just like a, a friendly indicator that shit is going to get tougher for me. It's not rewarding. It's just going to remind me, oh, shit is going to get tougher later down the line. Naomi is next, and she's rocking a fast chopper, but also Celine Mustangs start to appear. But I guess they were saving their power for later, because the first race, I just cruised on to the finish line. Second race, they were just constantly on my ass, but the caddy just kept on pushing. The next event, I had a funny idea. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think that truck actually killed one of the rivals. Maybe I didn't see it right, but I think it took out a rival as well. You mad at me? My sincerest apologies. <laughs> It's just a racing incident, you know? It's normal for trucks to, you know, suddenly crush your opponents' uh, bodies and all that. I feel bad, though. I, I ruined Nomi's race. He's all the way in the in last place now. How far, how far back, though? Let's see. Only 22 seconds behind, okay? Not, not too much. <laughs> I hope $4,000 is enough for your, uh, surgery bills. <laughs> Only a month at the moment. I guess we're close to finishing off Atlanta? What in the hell? I mean, I, gu I guess it's screaming early 2000s, really. <laughs> that only lasted two milliseconds for that guy. This is, you know, the victories they expected from the LMP Cadillac. But that one kept exploding all the time, so... <laughs> this is the LMP kind of like without the L. <laughs> See, if it just removed the L, it would have been so much better. The L was the reason for its downfall. Simple mistake from Cadillac. Oh, Jesus, Mercedes. What are you smoking today? Oh, it's the Gambalas as well. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. See, that, that's why I'm scared of the Gambalas. <laughs> Nothing good happens when a Gambala is in an event. Ah! What is this fucking event? <laughs> it's not just me, but everyone is embracing their inner inner burnout. Ballistic missile! Come on! There we go. I'm in love with the ballistic missile tactic. They'll only get more aggressive from here. True, we're close to Detroit, so... I did say before that we would see Roy again, and now having a faster ride at his disposal. The first event is an unordered race where the checkpoints are placed at certain parts of the map, and you make your own path on how to collect them all. Despite hitting every car and wall in Atlanta, I managed to win this with a bit of a gap. Second one was covered in rain, but nothing the ballistic Cadillac couldn't handle. In the third one, I was trailing a bit behind, but the AI ahead was helpful. Like, I'm getting some speed. He's hitting the walls. Yoink! Fuck yeah, let's go! <laughs> oh, they just sabotaged themselves so badly. <laughs> Thank you, Drywall and Ricky. Very cool of you, fellas. <laughs> Atlanta police car. Yes, we're done with Atlanta. Now we're heading off to Detroit. Now, welcome to Detroit, fellas. The last bit to conquer as well, but that also means this is where the A-class cars will appear, which is a boatload of supercars to deal with. Roy yet again wanting to compete against us, now in a B-class Viper. Now, this is where actual skill will come into play. Not for me, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for it, Forza. I am not ready for it, but I'm ready now. Okay, I'm ready now. That was just, you know, a warm-up. Getting the tires ready, getting the, the right temperature and all that. Besides high-density traffic that scares the living crap out of me when they suddenly turn towards me, I'd say Detroit is okay. And despite fighting higher B-class cars, they weren't really trying much, just giving me a simple victory. Up next is Spider, and to accompany him is a Diablo. Now we are getting serious. Now just a casual Diablo to face off against. Look at the power, man! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> this is where it's gonna be very fucking painful. I have to keep blocking him somehow, or hoping he hits, he hits the traffic. Racing with the big boys now, look at him go, and he's dead. Beautiful stuff. Thank you, Detroit citizens. All my homies love Detroit. Uh, beautiful stuff. Where are the cops, though? Are they gonna have some tomfoolery again? <laughs> Uh, oh, hell no! No! Stop that police brutality, officer! He's already down! <laughs> He's already down, officer! <laughs> now he fucks off back to the precinct. <laughs> See? <laughs> Seven tenths separating the three of us. 
I, I don't know how this Cadillac's still managing. Along the way, I faced off against some more Gambalas, but nothing would have prepared me for the next event. Oh, oh no! No way! Oh shit, fellas, we're so we're so over now. It is over. A CTSV versus a Concept Cadillac. We're in the big leagues now. Dude, if I actually beat these Cadillacs and this thing, what type of message will that send to Cadillac? <laughs> like, just imagine your concept, that the car that's supposed to go super fast and all that, getting beaten by a cat, as well, <laughs> a car like this. <laughs> I think there's a bigger picture here. Maybe, just hypothetically, okay, hypothetically, the driver that is, you know, driving this piece of automobile actually has some skill. Serious? Hoppa! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm glad we're still alive, at least. I can't believe it. This D-Class car beat its A-Class counterpart. <laughs> it actually beat a fucking concept car. Look at that. <laughs> a CTSV beating a CN. Oh, brother in Christ. Cadillac is in the mud now. <laughs> They're gonna build an, build an LMP version of the CTSV now. <laughs> they're just gonna build. They're gonna build a supercar version of this. You're a genius. Thank you, Leo. I that that actually hit me, man. Now we have Ferraris in here. Oh god. Actually, no. It's the Gimbala Ferrari, right? No, nope. not today, brother. Not today. It's Cadillac's time to shine today. Oh, no way, no way, SLR. I have to face an SLR in this thing. This is, this is, this is so goofy. I keep thinking in my mind this is, it is Jover, but man, we've beaten a CN, Gambala Ferraris. If we beat an SLR, I think we can beat a McLaren F1, fellas. If we beat this thing, I, I think we're secured. Jesus! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think I split that guy in half at that point. <laughs> okay, the bikes, uh, I know they'll crash at some point, so not too concerned on them. See, <laughs> it's only the SLR that I'm interested in right now. Yes, sir! Let's go! Beautiful stuff. Wait, there was a Celine in there? I didn't even notice that. So an SLR and a Celine in the mud now. And the SLR has spinners as well. Oh, Lord. Not all of the attempts were straightforward. Some I lost due to my own skill issues. Some I just tried so hard to stay in the slipstream, but end up crashing somewhere. And some ended up like this. No! Ah, uh, damn. Nice! Come on! Come on! Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Damn it, man! If I didn't bonk him at the end, I could have slipstreamed. We're getting there, though. We're getting there slowly. Nope. Nope. Take that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, the amount of stress that one Gambala gave me, man. But we finally got victory on second event? Yeah, second event. I think we're almost in the clear, fellas. Yes! Sir. SLR is taken out of the picture as well. <laughs> Then and a bunch of uh, Gimbala Ferraris. <laughs> After all this, it was time to treat this car with a slight change. We got Kiyoshi next and with him some fancy new rides. The motorcycle gang. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> McLaren F1. Let's see how it fares against that. <laughs> it still feels fucking weird. <laughs> it legit still feels weird seeing these two cars in the same event. <laughs> this is, you know... They belong in different leagues, but somehow they're in the same events. <laughs> I don't even know how. <laughs> I think one of them fucked up. Oh, but no! You asshole! <laughs> Mid-air fucking takedown. The fucking nerves on a McLaren. You already have a McLaren! My car is worth like 10% of that car. <laughs> or even less than 10%. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Turn, turn, turn. Let's go, push it to the limit! Yes! <laughs> Fucking yes! <laughs> Beating a McLaren F1 in this thing as well. Chad, why, why even get other cars at this point? <laughs> why even why even get other cars now? Single-handedly, Cadillac has defeated so many of the giants. So many of the giants in the supercar area. I can't believe it even. <laughs> I, I genuinely can't believe it. Now, a Zonda. Oh god. Apparently, Zonda is quicker than this, uh, McLaren. That's one way to find out. 
Keeping up with the Zondas was painful on its own. It just goes by so easily. One last chance. One last chance. Ah, fuck. Uh, there's opportunities, but just holding them back is just the real pain in the ass right now. Like, they can just get so easily in front of me. It's insane. <laughs> no. 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 No! Fuck! The pressure just gets to me so fucking... Ah! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes! That's only the second event. <laughs> But it felt like a fucking finale. <laughs> uh, the Cadillac keeps on going. Class A vehicles have been shipped to the guys. I don't care, okay? I don't care anymore about any other car in, its, in this game. Like, you can show me all the fanciest cars you can. But when a Cadillac is defeating everything in this cutscene right now, is it even worth going for it anymore? <laughs> okay, one more race. One more. I know we can do it, I know. Oh, wait, we have a Murcielago in here now. Another new opponent. Ah, no more Nitro. I gotta hope the traffic does their thing. And they do! They do! The people of Detroit are so fucking based! Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? Yes! We are done with Kiyoshi as well now. The process beating game, Murcielago as well. My, my brain cannot process the amount of opponents we have defeated in this, in this thing. It, it just cannot. Now, Snow covers Detroit and gives us more rivals to face off. Back with Caesar and his Gallardo, accompanied with some Mi 412s in here. They certainly look nice when you're a few kilometers behind. I was trying so hard to keep up with them that I didn't even notice my own health. Okay, okay, we got one. Uh, the corner, come on. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god, look at the time! Oh, shit! Traffic car came in clutch, like so freaking clutch at the end there. Now I need to survive two more races. It was getting stupidly hard to stay within Slipstream. Their incredible speed, plus the fact they can have more nitros than me, just made it so much harder to keep up. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, you bastards! <laughs> They're already so quick, yet they find different ways to screw me over. With lots and lots of fails, I finally managed to stay within the slipstream. Opa! <laughs> God damn it, like, who gave these people the fucking supercars even? They quite literally got their license from a cereal box. Very, very fucking clean this time around. You know, my car in a way kind of prevails in this area. Because, uh... I'm slower, I can take my time to process where I'm sp supposed to go, even. <laughs> oh! Oh! Fuck it, hell! <laughs> I, th I thought the truck almost had him. Well, the truck is gone, but... <laughs> but it was so damn close ha to have it. Why is there one random person here? Did they just die or some shit? What?! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Fernando! <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know we had fucking Alonzo in, in this game. There you go! <laughs> uh, not getting fernando again. Fucking hell. I, I feel bad, though. <laughs> I am a, I am a Alonzo enjoyer. <laughs> I, in some way, I think he will be proud of that tactic. Next up on the list is Angel. And I believe after Angel, we have the US champs, right? Okay, Celine. Come on. Ah, uh, ballistic missile failed me. If I could just get his slipstream, the missile would have worked. Only five tens behind, though. Oh, well. Um, Maybe here? Oh, this one. Oh, wow, that is game-changing right now. Sheesh. Mark was really damn close on that one. It's weird having this level of intensity every single race. Like, <laughs> I'm so used to having it, you know, maybe every once in a while. But this challenge just brings out so much random stuff. <laughs> One unordered race left and it was pretty simple to do. Unlocking the final bit of the game, the US Champs events. Each rival from now will have only two events to complete. Starting it off with Kiyoshi. In the first one, I didn't have any issues. The second one, however, was a bit more challenging. If I can take the corners like this super wide, well, we might stand a chance. Fuck! <laughs> I thought I lost. I thought I lost. <laughs> That's super good. You just came out of nowhere. The closest victory I feel like so far. 
legit feel like that was the closest. Kiyoshi came back from hell for that. <laughs> okay, that's, I think, one rival. Another one, and then we can go to Atlanta, I believe. Oh, we have Roy as well, never mind. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I like how the dude starts, you know, from a normal muscle cut, then he gets a Viped, and now all of a sudden he has a McLaren F1. Like, what type of business does Roy run? Is he a financial advisor in the 2000s? <laughs> Huh? Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> he took the worst route just to get to the finish line. He could have just gone straight. Legit, just take the soul cup. <laughs> okay. Another one. Hey, fellas. Us against the me 412. No, 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 no. Okay, actually, that kind of helped. Thank you. <laughs> that actually was somewhat beneficial. See how the highway handles them. Okay, one guy, skill issued. What about the other guy? We're slightly closing it, but I do have my ability. Just in case I need it. But I feel like I won't need it. I spoke a little bit too soon. <laughs> Come on, just a slither of a slipstream is what we need. Yes! Let's go! Now it's literally a drag race. I don't have an ability. Oh, actually I do, I do. Yes! Let's go. Yeah, that's Detroit done and dusted now. Now we got the Atlanta rivals to fight against. <laughs> Look at that. Only concepts and just my car. <laughs> A pretty, pretty fair lineup if you ask me. Oh, it's two laps as well. Ah, let's just keep driving. It's only the la the first lap. I just want to get the, get the feel of the track. But who knows, maybe we can do a recovery. Nice. She's got to survive a little bit longer. Sheesh! That was actually a smooth recovery. With barely any grip and lots of rain, the Cadillac kept pushing on. Oh, someone's coming, someone's coming! He didn't have enough speed, though. Okay, is that... Yeah, that's Angel already done, Dustin. Lamont rolling up in a CLK GTR, same as the other opponents. Despite all that, they still try and find interesting ways to slow me down. But Karma would bite them in the ass as well. A few ballistic missiles later, the win is mine. Okay, I'm using it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I need to catch up. Well, I'm just gonna keep uh, the roar ability. There we go. Opa! Come on! Holy Christ! That, that was too many people in that slipstream. It's too many fucking people. We are done with Lamont. That leaves two more people. Back to where it all started, fellas. Spider in a chopper. See how that goes. Sure, he might be in a chopper, but the other opponents... Yeah, they're they're not. <laughs> I'll keep the nitro. There we go. And that guy's Binalas actually clears my path as well. That's beautiful. Oh, God. Uh, I didn't want to take this path, but... Actually, can I even get the checkpoints? Oh, I can. A little bit of a longer detour to get it, but eh? Like, look at this. Look how far ahead I am right now. Like, I, I didn't use the nitro that much. M mainly at the start and now at the end. It just feels weird, because I... When I think of Midnight Club, you know, I think of intensity, super fast cars everywhere. No slowing down. <laughs> this challenge kind of... <laughs> gave me a different look at Midnight Club 3, I guess. Oh, but... Uh, nope, 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 nope. Should've used my ability there, though, probably. Okay, he messed up. Nice. Ooh, all of them seem to mess up. Except one person. One person's still on the attack. Fuck. One HP. One HP and a dream! Yes! <laughs> Dude, imagine would've died right after hitting this wall. <laughs> okay, a spider done and dusted as well, fellas. That only leaves one. One rival in the entire career mode. We're, we're literally right there. Now, is Vanessa gonna be tougher or easier than Spider? One last, one last rodeo. Only Murcielagos in the event. But Murcielagos are... I don't know, I don't know if they're the fastest of the A-Class. They're certainly quick, but I feel, like, I feel like they're a little bit weaker than the Celines I raced just now. Ah, oh, traffic! Yeah, let's just practice. Or maybe recovery drive. Mm, doesn't look like I'll have a chance. Or me? Ah, too, too late. Oh well. I did get some good practice in from it, so... 
When they get the road to themselves, they just go on a godlike run. Barely hit any traffic whatsoever. Hoppa. Uh, uh, I lost my speed. One millisecond late with the ability. One millisecond. Okay, they messed up. Slightly. Okay, okay. The hunt is on. The hunt is on. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> I have no idea who that was even. <laughs> I legit thought I, I lost it there. Like, he flew over me. I'm not going to get a slipstream anymore. <laughs> he, he flew too close to the sun. Okay, one last event, chats. The final the final race now. Celine's Murcielago. Who will prevail? Let's find out. Oh, I know this is going to be a big jump. Very fucking big jump. Up, up. Oh, Jesus! Now I have no longer any boost. Let's see. Three people very, very close to me right now. Oh, tram! Yes! Fucking yes! <laughs> Super fucking base timing for that tram to spawn in. I need to survive a little bit longer. Come on. One last chance. We might be able to get Vanessa. Come on. Yes! Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> San Diego people are so fucking phased! <laughs> They're so fucking phased! First the tram and the traffic car! <laughs> Holy shit, the, the luck! The luck! <laughs> we are done, fellas! We are done! Vanessa has been beaten! You won the Lamborghini Murcielago! <laughs> the US champ! In a Cadillac. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was so such a good finale. Such a good finale, but <laughs> put a lot of work into it. She's gonna fly for you. I already have one thing that already flies. <laughs> US champ in a Cadillac CTSV. Uh I can't believe we actually finished this. In the slowest class possible, it is possible to beat the game. C class, B class, A class, you can just ignore them. <laughs> Get yourself a Cadillac, it'll carry you through the entire game. <laughs> and just like that, I became the US champ with the help of a Dodge, a Lexus, and a Cadillac. I still can't process that a run like this was possible in a Midnight Club game. It was very challenging, but also really fun just playing the game in these types of conditions. While I did complete this run, it did give me another idea for the future. Could you complete this game with only a Statica? If you want to see something like that, drop a like to let me know and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, everyone.